The next entire Pro 7 Racing New Zealand Series headed to Manfield in Circuit Chris Amon for round four of the North Island Championships and the second and final New Zealand Championship round. A huge 30-car field readied itself for the weekend's battles. So this is race number one, and on pole position it is the top qualifier, and that was uh, Dylan Smith sitting alongside him, Justin Allen, and it's Smith that's got away to a great start as they head down into turn one. Once again, I'm joined in commentary by Brett Killip, a man who has been there and done that. Good field of mess is here, Brett. Yeah, it's fantastic to see so many cars uh, from all over the country come to compete at uh, the New Zealand Grand Prix ground. Well, that's right. This is the second and final championship round for the New Zealand title, and it's round four for the North Island Series. Remember, just to bring you up to speed, we've got the Pro 7 Pluses. They're out in the front at the moment. We've got the RX-8s, we've got the Pro 7s, and we've got the MX-5. So four classes racing together. That's why we've got over 30 cars, as it's Dylan Smith getting really monstered by Justin Allen as they head out of the infield hairpin and down the Denny Holm straight. And you were telling me, Brett, that this is... Uh, not one generation, but two generations of Smiths here. Yeah, two generations of Smiths in, in that car and a lot of local knowledge from Grandfather Bob being passed on to Dylan. He's putting it to great effect here, leading this first lap of the first race of the weekend. And of course, Dylan is Bob's grandson. That's how far it goes back. And Bob is a life member of uh, the, uh, the club here. Alan looking for the outside run. Whoa, that was pretty aggressive as he works his way in there. Door handle the door handle around the big sweeper. Who's going to give first? And look at Smith just shows him the outside of the racetrack. These guys have come to play today. There's no doubt about that. No quarter given there. Justin just getting the extra slingshot around the outside line of that corner. Coming across to cover into turn one. Best of the RX-8s by the look of it, just moving through into second place now, just leaving the door open, was he? Just teasing him as they go through one once again, and that's uh, Roger Bowink in the uh, number 97 car. But it's the Pro 7 Pluses that are out in the front, and it's Justin Allen now in the lead. The Battery Town, the yellow car, the number nine. The local boy from Fielding, the Battery Town store just down the road from the track. He's looking for a strong showing here, and he's looks like he's getting off to a good start. So Allen leads it. Smith in second place. Have a look out there for number 44. It's Hamish Collins. That's the uh, the brother of Brett Bones Collins out of the South Island. This is the MX-5 battle down through the field. Triple seven there is Jeremy Hoskins in the pretty and pink car. And uh, just then behind him, Tim Fox. And these guys going at it like there's no tomorrow as well. Yeah, there's a good field of these cars here this weekend too. A lot of them locals as well. So good track knowledge and having some great battles. Yeah, I noticed on the entry list, Conrad Healy and uh, Richard Boselman. Richard Boselman, of course, a well-known motoring journalist in New Zealand, taking uh, another taste of racing. I'll be able to write some good stories after after this, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at this, door handle to door handle, stuff nose to tail as they work their way into Higgins once again. Oh, and just going a little bit wide, there was the number four, Tim Fox, and that's going to cost him. Is he going to be able to recover from it? He crosses the whole field as they work their way down the back straight now. Wow, he needs to go to the uh, lotto shop and get a ticket because that was a very, very lucky save and he's not done with yet. <laughs> Yeah, there's lawn mowing on both sides of the track and we've got three wide coming through the final corner. Wow, this is exciting stuff in the car. A bit of a tribute to uh, the Cars movie by the look of it on the front of it. Number four, Tim Fox. He had a, uh, a wild ride there. We go back to the RX-8 battle. Car number 21 here. This is Andrew Jackson. And right alongside him, is that Leo Bolt? Yeah, teammate Leo Bolt there and, and Keith Wilkinson sitting just in behind looking for any gap that might open up. And this is the future of the class, isn't it, Brett? Really, the RX-8s. I know we were talking uh, in the first round after Taupo, and uh, there's more development going on with these cars. There's more people coming into the uh, the sport because of these RX-8s. Yes, yeah, certainly. They're, they're quite affordable to, to buy and, and build up and plenty of parts around. And, yeah, really good base package car. So Andrew Jackson leading the RX-8s at the moment. Leo Bolt through in second place. But you get the feeling that that little battle's not done with yet. Uh, absolutely. It's good to see a good spread through the field here. You've got some of the RX-7s out the front and RX-8s in the middles and RX-7s at the back. So the, the RX-8s are definitely coming on and their performance obviously getting in front of some of those plus, plus cars. And is that just a matter of time and a little bit more development before these guys will be at the head of the field? Because at the moment the, the Pro 7 Pluses have just got a little bit of an edge, haven't they? Yeah, that's right. Well, it sort of depends on track to track and race to race depending on the on the starting positions definitely the rx7 seems to be just that little bit more outright quicker but maybe through the duration of the race the rx8 uh, tends to be a bit more stable and it's definitely better under brakes so swings and roundabouts between the, the two cars well it adds up to a pretty good race and that's what we're seeing at the moment 
and Phil Blythe, of course, with his academy and a, a stalwart of the class and has been for a long, long time. Yeah, so he's done a lot for a lot, a lot of people in this class, and we say it many times, but it, it's, it's true to the word that the class wouldn't be where it is today without uh, Phil's support. As we mentioned before, battles within battles now. Last lap, this is the race leader. This is Justin Allen, as you heard Brett say, from Fielding in the Pro 7 Plus. That's essentially the Batwing Mazda. Yeah, He's just got the uh, extra legs on the field here. Yeah, well, he'll be looking to carry on his good form for the South Island, where he picked up two wins down there at Christchurch. So he looks like he's well on his way here to putting, putting another one in the bank. Well, that's right, for these guys as well as the North Island title and New Zealand title up for decision here. Round one was at the uh, Mike Perro Real Estate Circuit in Ruapuna a few months ago now. This is the second and final round of the New Zealand Championships. The race leader starting to round up some of the, uh, the MX-5s. Yeah, Justin that... missed out on the, on the New Zealand's and the North Island's last year, so he's, uh, he's out to make amends for that this year, and he's certainly going about it the right way by putting a good lead out in the front there. So the race leader on his way. Last lap, remember, he'll be heading to the flag. In second place now, it's uh, Roger Bovink in the uh, RX-8, and then it's Dylan Smith. Look at the speed difference, the MX-5 versus the, uh, the Pro 7 Plus. Yeah, good to see those guys keeping their, their wits about them and making room for the, the overall winner to come through. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So Justin Allen's going to draw first blood here at uh, Circuit Chris Amon at Manfield, and he takes out race number one. So this is a battle for second and third. Roger Bovink's going to cross the line as the first of the RX-8s, and in third place it would have been D Dylan Smith. Great scrap going on for the miners here as they rush to the flag in the MX-5s, and it's triple seven, the uh, pretty in pink car of Jeremy Hoskins. Looks like he's got the win. Good uh, last-minute charge coming from Kevin Richards. Is he going to be able to stop Tim Fox? I don't think he is, so Fox will cross the line in second place, then it will be Richards, and then it would be the number 19, and that is Alex Koo. So Justin Allen wins the race and wins the class in the Pro 7 Pluses. In second place in the Pro 7 Plus, Dylan Smith, best of the RXH, is Roger Boving. We have a look over the page. We'll tell you that Sam Wallace is the best of the Pro 7s from Hunter Rowland and Toby Marsh. In the MX-5 competition, Jeremy Hoskins took the win from Tim Fox with Alex Corp in third place. Yeah, no, it was a fantastic battle. You know, Batchertown RX-7 went really well today. Um, great battle with Dylan those first couple of laps trying to get past him and managed to pull a lead and, yeah, just carried it on from there. Starting third, it wasn't, wasn't the result I wanted in qualifying, but, um, no, made, made it work in the race and eight laps you get a little bit of time to, to work your way through. So, no, it was, it was a good race in the end. So this is the second race of the day and this is the reverse top 10 grid so it means that uh, Hamish Collins and Tom Hannaford on the front row. This is going to make it hard for the faster boys here Brett. Yeah it certainly is, they'll have their work cut out there. There's the Series 1's just getting away, Toby Marsh getting a great start there. And what's the mindset here, do you, do you try and go as hard as you can early and just negate that handicap or do you just play it safe and maybe hope for a safety car? Well, I think you really just got to go out all guns blazing, uh, Phil, because you don't usually get a second chance. <laughs> well, you can see there's no playing it safe here as the door handle, the door handle, as they work through the infield here at Mighty Manfield, Circuit Chris Amon, and it's the 44 there leading the bunch, and that is uh, Hamish Collins. That's the the, uh, the brother of Brett Bones Collins, has won just about anything in New Zealand motorsport going. Oh, and someone going on the grass there, and that's Hannaford. Oh, and he spun right in front of the whole of the field, and unbelievably, Brett Killip, no one's hit him. Or oh, have I spoken too soon? No. No one's hit him. Down to the lotto shop tonight, I think, for, oh, for young Thomas. That was unbelievably lucky. Absolutely. Lucky and then in some ways unlucky because he's right up there in the points, isn't he? So that's going to hurt just a little wee bit. Yeah, that's right. And he was, he was off the front row for that, for that race, you know, so he was uh, off for a good start. So we have to handle the speed difference here because the slow boys are off the front. That means the quick boys have got to start to make their way through. Rowan Shepard just glued to the back of Hamish Collins there. Right in behind him is Leo Bolt in the 98. Then you see Tim Forster in that second group and he's come back into the class, Brett. Yeah, Tim's been sitting on the sidelines for a little bit at the start of this year, but the, the temptation of a, of a run against the, the New Zealand Championship boys was uh, too much for him to, to turn, turn up. 
Well, Dylan Smith, the big mover here as he draws up alongside Justin Allen. Remember, Allen won race number one, so he started from grid position 10. This is um, Hamish Collins, though. In behind him, it's car number 22. That's Keith Wilkinson, and he's in an RX-8. The man behind him, also in an RX-8, that's Leo Bolt. Then it's Rowan Shepard. Then it's Dylan Smith just shouldering <laughs> the number nine of Justin Allen off the circuit. Oh, yeah, not, not quite giving enough room on the exit there. Justin won't be too impressed with that, I wouldn't think. No, and you get the feeling the officials might want to have another look at that as well because that was maybe a little bit over aggressive and you can see for yourself it's cost uh, Alan a little bit of momentum yeah it certainly has it's hard to know whether Dylan had had seen him there or, or would a tail happy in the uh, silver 77 there it's Russell Burgess just trying to get it back on the black stuff as uh, the quicker boys starting to come through good recovery from Hannaford he's uh, back in the mix now yeah bit of a mixed bag of gaggle of cars there we've got uh, Toby Marsh in the Series 1, a couple of RX-8s here as well. Interesting to note that the Series 1s are all South Island competitors, Brett. Yeah, most of the Series 1s seem to have uh, migrated south, and um, yeah, it's good to see three of them come up. Oh, Roger Bovink having a big moment in the end of the front straight there. Oh, look at that, he wants to get straight back on with it. Flicks reverse, he uh, knows that it's about points. There's another one in contention for the New Zealand title and, of course, the North Island title. Fourth round of the North Island title, second and final round of the New Zealand title. Another good close race in uh, the MX-5s as well. Triple seven, remember, he won race number one for the MX-5s. He's in this battle as well. So to the 72, just uh, ahead of him at the moment as they head down into uh, turn one here at Mighty Manfield. So that's Kevin uh, Richards doing the job at the moment. There is the first uh, race leader, uh, the triple seven there of uh, Jeremy Hoskins. This is the MX-5, remember, four classes. This is a great little scrap going on here. Richards holding his own from uh, the 19 of Alex Corp. Alex Corp finished third in race number one, so we know he's got the pace working their way through the infield here at Manfield. And this would be a fun way to go motor racing, I would think, Brett. Oh, totally, yeah. These guys have a really good um, close battle on the track, but they're all good mates afterwards. Replay of some action earlier on. That's uh, Hamish Collins in the Kiwi Black Current car, just getting a little bit wide. That allows Rowan Shepard to go through, go back to this battle in the MX-5s as they come down into Higgins. Richard's doing a pretty good job holding him out for the moment. But I've oh, spoken too soon and he gets it wrong all on his own. So Kevin Richards has thrown away the lead in the MX-5 and that's now going to go to Alex Corp. A good recovery there from Richards. Meantime, at the front of the field, it is number 22, Keith Wilkinson, and right in behind him is Leo Bolt in the RQ RX-8. That's first and second because we lost the leader earlier on when uh, Hamish Collins spun. So a race of changing fortunes, Brett. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Hamish has dropped right down the order there now, been behind Dylan, so he'll be certainly ruining that costly mistake into Higgins there. He's got the, the pride of the south on his shoulders, so... Won't be too happy with that. And Wilkerson just about to round up some of the uh, the lesser lights in the MX-5 class, and that's going to bunch up the field even more. Down the front straight they come here at Manfield. Wilkerson, have a look at the speed difference between an RX-8 and an MX-5. Across the stripe he goes, last lap now. What can Leo Bolt do about this? That's him in second place. And Justin Allen has uh, moved up into third place now. So uh, it's on for young and old on the final lap. How many times have we said that at Manfield? It's such a good racetrack. It's fantastic racetrack and it really seems to suit the Mazdas. You can really wring their neck and get the most out of them in cambered corners. They really seem to so really seem to get into it. Oh, Your a bit Conrad, of a traffic Conrad here. Conrad he's going to play a part in this one whether he wants to or not. Now he does the sensible thing and tries to get out of the way. Well, look at that gap between Leo and Keith now. There's nothing in that. This is going to be on to the money, to the flag for the money. No worries. Yeah, absolutely right. It's played into the hands for Leo Bolt because he's now sitting a very comfortable second place. You see the hand come out of the window from Justin Allen. He's saying to the MX-5 guys, just hold on to your line. Don't do anything stupid. Into Higgins for the last time. It's a battle at the front of the field and it's the RX-8, it's Wilkinson, it's Bolt, and there is Justin Allen, and lurking in the background is Tim Forster, Rowan Shepard, and Dylan Smith. So this isn't done with yet, and once again, a lap traffic is going to play a part as they rocket down towards the final corner. Man, Justin's made a very good recovery there. Remember, he was off the road out of the hip and on lap two, and he's come back to to be right on the tail of Leo as they're going to come across the line here. Oh, and he's right there, isn't he, as they uh, head down to the chequered flag. Wilkinson gets the win. Leo Bolt gets second. Allen is right there. So too Tim Forster. Rowan Shepard in it as well. Dylan Smith too. So Keith Wilkinson gets the first of the wins for the RX-8s. Best of the Pro 7 Pluses once again is Justin Allen from Tim Forster and then Rowan Shepard. Further down through the field, the Pro 7, Sam Wallace again all the way in front of Toby Marsh and Hunter Rowland and in the MX-5, it 
it is Alex Corp taking the win from Jeremy Hoskins. So a reversal of what we saw in race number one. We've um, had a bit of consistency this weekend, um, pace-wise, and um, we've managed to also stay out of trouble. Um, yeah, fairly happy with uh, what, what's happened so far this weekend. One, one to go. Third and final race for the next entire uh, Mazda Pro 7 Racing Series. And once again, it's Justin Allen on pole position. Once again, a split grid start. Four classes up for decision, but it's the Battery Town number nine that's going to lead them down into turn number one. And the wipers are on here, Brett Killip. So maybe rain's going to play a part in this one. Yeah, you can see a little bit of drizzle falling there. Where these guys are going to have to really put those Nixon tyres to the test. Well, Dylan getting very brave around the outside into Splash here on Justin. He's having a look up the inside. Good move. It. What a great move. Good move and good clean racing too as they work their way into the infield hairpin and that's allowed Tim Force to get a little bit closer. Wilkinson is in this battle as well. A little bit of a gentle lock up there. You don't see any smoke and that's because the track is just a little bit wet at the moment. Yeah, it's got that sort of greasy look to it, doesn't it, Phil? So these guys will be uh, having to watch the old right foot a little bit too. And I guess we should mention the fact, Brett, no, no wet tyres here. That's right, no wet tyres. It's the control tyre which does dry and, and wet conditions in the Nixon and so far they seem to be holding up in good in both conditions, so they're well covered. Well, great racing at the uh, top end of the field in the Pro 7 Pluses. Dylan Smith just all over the back of Justin Allen for the moment. And I guess third race of the weekend, third race of the New Zealand Championship Series uh, and third race of the North Island Series. This is round four for them. We'll be crowning champions at the end of this one. Yeah, the boys will be getting the champagne on ice. And um, Dylan's going really well in this race here. He's hanging on to the back of of Justin, he's turned, shown a real good turn of speed at this at this track this weekend. Yeah, and they've just started to edge out a little bit of a gap there between themselves and the next bunch being led by Tim Forster. Wilkinson getting pretty racy as well. Gentle lock up as they work their way into one here. Oh, and somebody just running a little bit wide, and I think that was Wilkinson that's opened the door for Leo Bolt by the look of it. In fact, it's Roger Bovink, so he's on the move. This is a battle at the front of the field. Well, he tried it last lap. It worked. Uh, Alan got back again. This time he's not going to let him go through. Justin will come across and take the defence. Oh, Dylan's having a look. He's left the door a little bit open there. Don't think there was enough for him to get through. Bovink trying to work up the inside as they go through the hairpin and out onto the Denny Holm straight. But he's going to get swamped, I think, by Rowan Shepherd in the 99. All of them with the wipers on now as they head down into Higgins once again. Been a fantastic weekend of racing here for the New Zealand Grand Prix for the support classes and certainly for the next entire Pro 7 Series races. Wow, look at that move up the inside from Roger on Tim Forster there. There's, there's, there's certainly nothing wrong with the brakes on an RX-8 for sure. So as you mentioned before, Brett, Tim having a little bit of a break from the sport, back into it now. Yeah, he seems to have enjoyed his weekend. He's been, for someone who's been out of the car for a while, he's, he's shown good pace and he's Obviously, he hasn't had the luxury of doing the first three meetings on the Nexon, so he's he's been spent the weekend learning the new tyre. Look at this, they're all over the racetrack, going way, way wide there was Hamish Collins, Forster and uh, Boving, uh, door handle to door handle as they work their way down into turn one. Rowan Shepard's getting racy on Forster. You've got to look uh, everywhere to find uh, so many different uh, little battles breaking out here. Well, Tim will get a little bit loose on the exit of the corner, but too happy on the right foot in the damp conditions. Lucky enough, got away with it. Leon Bolt just shifted a little bit wide there as Shepard moves up another spot. So this isn't the battle at the front of the field, folks. That's going on just up ahead. And, and what a battle it is. In fact, there's battles right across the circuit here at uh, Circuit Chris Amon uh, Manfield. And you mentioned it before, Brett, the Mazdas really do perform here. There's something about the circuit they really like. Yeah, they've been racing here for, uh, for many, many years now. Obviously started with these cars on screen now, the, the Series 1s. And, and even though they've been a fantastic car around Manfield for years, sort of, a bit, a bit quicker than uh, cars that cost a lot more money to, to build and maintain. Toby Marsh leading this little group of South Island uh, Series 1 Mazdas. And I guess the body parts and things like that getting hard to find for these cars now. Well, the Series 1s, they are getting getting very hard to find. Yep, um, obviously there's, there's replica fiberglass and aftermarket parts available, but even those are getting a bit hard to find these days as well. Sam making a good move. Toby leaving the door a little bit open there. He won't be happy with that. Might try and come back at him down the back straight. 
Alex Corbett is leading the MX5 battle. Sam Wallace has uh, got into the front in the Series 1 battle, and that may just be enough for him to clinch a national title because for three of these classes, there's a New Zealand Championship title at the uh, end of this race. And, of course, it's round four of the North Island Series as well. And uh, the Mazda's really performing well here. The... Um, Next in time, as the Pro 7 Racing Series, they're putting on a show for the crowd. Some of them have come for the Grand Prix, but they've been enthralled by what they've seen here. Yeah, there's a big crowd on the on the bank there today, and they'll be they're getting their money's worth from here. Absolutely. Last lap, this is Justin Allen. He'll be hoping everything holds together for the last lap to try and get that one NZ on the door. So this is the battle for the Series 1. Sam Wallace, as I said, may be looking to wrap up the New Zealand title there. That's Toby Martian behind him. Here he is on his last time down the back chute. Justin Allen will be hearing every rattle and bang in that car. We'll get just about coast home from here, I think. Yeah, and as we mentioned it before, that rain hasn't come to much, but the wiper's still going here for Justin Allen. He's going to come through and win this one. Second place is going to be Dylan Smith, but he's a long way behind. So Justin Allen uh, heads across the stripe and maybe into a New Zealand title. In second place, it will be Dylan Smith. And in third place, it'll be the first of the RX-8s, and that'll be Keith Wilkinson. Right in behind him would have been Roger Bovink. This is the battle for the Miners in the MX-5s. And it is Richards, it is Hoskins, and it is Alex Corp. But it's Alex Corp's going to carry the day. Across the line he goes, so he's had a good weekend here at Circuit Chris Amon. So the official results tells us that Justin Allen wins the Pro 7 Pluses here at the third and final race of the weekend and picks up the New Zealand number one plate. In the RX-8s, it was Roger Bovink across the line first, uh, but it will be Andrew Jackson taking the NZ1 plate. And in the Pro 7s, it will be Sam Wallace taking the New Zealand plate and taking the honours in Pro 7s. Alex Corp winning the MX-5s. Last lap, got a little bit wet. Well, we started a bit of moisture and we screwed up the gap in last lap I thought I'm screwed but look behind me and next three cars screwed up in the same corner so stayed ahead and we've got the win.